Okay, uh, I want to talk a little bit about data and kind of everything that has been going on over the past 15 years. So if you think back to 2010, we were kind of in the middle of this big data revolution. Uh, and a lot of the data really was about logs and table structured data. And you know, we compare that to lakes. So I have Lake Tahoe up here as an example. Two things happened, right? We realized this were massive amounts of data, and we had to create an entirely new tech stack powered by distributed compute to make sense of this data at scale. Once we did, boom, super powerful for product, analytics, engineering. Right now, you know, I think most of us realize we're like in another big data revolution moment, right? This time is around unstructured data, and this time is all about AI. And so, you know, to kind of make a comparison of what's going on on the data side, you know, once we made the jump to text, we have now gone from something like Lake Tahoe to the Caspian Sea. It's three orders of magnitude larger. It's huge, right? And we had to develop an entirely new tech stack with AI, AI at the heart, right? Some things that we know were somewhat not so new, like Mongo, some things that were entirely new, like Langchain and vector databases. But the end result was the same. We can unlock this data at scale. And while this tech stack is still being written, uh, you know, Coactive, I want to talk about kind of what's happening in, in the future, right? The momentum is switching towards multimodal data. In particular, as we start thinking about images and video, we have an enormous jump. It's like going from the Caspian Sea to the Pacific Ocean. There's just a massive, massive amount of data. And we need entirely new tools. And the thing we've learned over the past three years is that there is no real tech stack, right? The first thing we learned that was really surprising is most enterprises actually do nothing with it. It sits in storage, they pay a fortune, it's underutilized, and it, that speaks to just how hard it is to work with this type of data. The next thing we saw is a lot of people use human labeling, and it's easy to get started, but really easily, really fast, you realize that there's a lot of reliability issues, and uh, more importantly, it's just not cost effective to scale. Next, we see what a lot of people are doing with AI, where you know we think it's this Terminator that's going to fix everything, and in reality, it ends up not really being quite ready for the enterprise. <laughs> uh, and the second thing is, uh, you know, Terminator is like a one-size-fits-all solution. And sometimes you don't need a Terminator; you need something more nuanced. And it turns out that enterprise data is very nuanced and very domain-specific, and so this just hasn't cut it. Like, for example, all our customers have tried four different APIs before they came to us. And the last thing is like the select few that can afford the GPUs and the graduate students, you know, throw PhDs and GPUs and do this thing we call graduate student descent, which turns out to be very inefficient. <laughs> uh, but most importantly, most people can't even afford the bill to do this, right? So this brings us to why we exist. So at Coactive, we are creating uh, the tech stack between the data layer and the users to really have multimodal data as the first class citizen. We are creating an AI first data system that is reliable, scalable, and adaptable. And that's what we're all about. This really unlocks three big functions within uh, our customers. The first one is that we can find you the right content at the right moment and present that to the right person. And we do this through a very natural search. The second thing is we allow you to be able to, we bring you to dynamic tagging, which is an entirely new way to think about tagging content, in which we're as little as three examples. If you're a social media uh, platform, you can actually just tag millions of data uh, points, uh, millions of images in seconds. And the last thing, this is kind of cool for the data nerds, uh, we actually give you structured views of unstructured data. So it means essentially we make your images and video quack and act like a table. And it means you can actually quite literally run SQL over it and actually be able to do analytics in the same way that you do with your structured data today. And this is, turns out to be really valuable for the folks that have tons of image and video content, such as social platforms, e-commerce and retail, and media and entertainment. To give you a little bit of the sense of the traction of the story so far, we were founded in 2021, which doesn't sound like a long time ago, but in AI it's had to become like dog years, so it feels like a very long time to me. Uh, we raised a seed round in Series A with Andreessen Horowitz, Best Premier Venture Partners, and our close uh, partners with AWS, GCP, and we work with mid-market enterprise customers. With that said, uh, one thing I want to note, uh, Cody and I have been friends for over 15 years with the founders here, and more importantly, we have been in the data AI space for over a decade. We have our PhDs in this field, and we love this field. Uh, not just that, we have an amazing team of, about, of over 25 folks, and we really have two big models for the team. The first one is culture is our first and most important product. The first thing we published on GitHub was actually our culture, so you can actually go back and see the entire version history of our culture as a fun fact. Uh, the second thing we say is we build product, but we develop people. And right now, we're looking again to double the size of the team. So we have almost every single op open role that you can think of in data, ML, assistance, full stack. So please uh, come chat with us if you'd like to be part of this incredible journey of being at the cutting edge of multimodal AI. Uh, thank you all, and uh, yeah, this is wonderful. Thank you. <laughs>